Don't want my sim to die. <laughs> Not before we finish this quest. <laughs> it's week three of the Reaper's Rewards limited event. Let's dive in. And it looks like this week we don't have to wait at all for the Reaper's Reward Week 3 to pop up. That's good. Now let's see. It seems as if Lady Mimsy was quite knowledgeable about Ambrosia. You'll need to keep honing your fishing skills if you want to put her knowledge to use. Complete the quests, the first ingredient, and learning from the lady. Don't let me down now. The first ingredient is Ambrosia Society Newsletter. And learning from the lady is read the intro in the green lady's tome and graft a shoot to a plant or research grafting. Okay, let's open up this book. Here it is, the green lady's lost tome. Read book intro. Interestingly, the book does emit this very weird black smoke. Oh no, oh that is cool. All right, so it's not just black smoke, it's ghosts. You look real closely. They're little spirits. You can see the, the little frowny face <laughs> as they emanate from the book. Okay, that is awesome. So we're reading the intro. There's nothing going on here at all, which is fine. I think this week is going to be pretty short, to be honest. Okay, let's see. With the Green Lady's Tome, you can quickly gain the skills you need to cook Ambrosia. This book will build your gardening, cooking, and gourmet cooking skills. And we have enough event points to claim our first reward, which is the boots. So to find them very quickly, we can click on special and event rewards. And here they are. Pretty nice snazzy looking pair of boots. They come in six different colors. We've got black, purple, red, green, white, and pink. Next up, we need to cook a recipe while level five or higher in the cooking skill and graft a shoot to a plant or research grafting. I do have a spliced garden shoot from the lily. If I graft a lily and a snapdragon together, Achievement Splice of Life. A spliced plant that grows snapdragons, orchids, and lilies. So now we need to cook a recipe while at level 5. He is getting quite hungry, so we'll go ahead and take care of his needs real quick and then have him cook. I think we'll have my sim cook some minced pork noodles so that we can take care of the learning from the lady. We could just read the tome. And we might do that in the morning. See how our sim go gets on. And we've leveled... Oh, we've reached cooking level 5. That was quick. Okay. So I'll ha let him eat that. Have him go to bed. And in the morning, we'll have him cook a gourmet recipe for breakfast or lunch or something. And hopefully by the end of tomorrow, the Ambrosia newsletter will have arrived as well. I'm hoping that these trees grow soon so that I can splice the apple and the cherry tree together. I believe, if I'm remembering correctly from last week, that gives us a pomegranate. All right, let's cook a gourmet recipe. Lactose-free fruit and yogurt parfait for breakfast. That sounds good. Ah, the record player's gone. We can't summon Grim if it's not working, so we'll also have him repair that. And we have acquired the gourmet cooking skill. Mir's new skill in gourmet cooking will allow him to make meals of a classier variety. The higher the skill level, the more recipes are unlocked. Who puts watermelon in fruit and yogurt parfaits? Learning from the lady. I wonder what other secrets this book may hold. Reward event points. Keep working on your gourmet cooking. Thanks for the scare. Here's a gift. Vol cooking volume 3. I'm here to cook. Fishing volume 3. See the fish, be the fish. What? Someone gave us books for having the the event lot challenge on the lot okay i that that's cool <laughs> i'll take it yeah there it is fishing volume three and cooking volume three ah huh. okay hey oh no mirror's got the fear of death now death is inevitable mirror knows that mirror just didn't think that he would be thinking about it so soon there's still so much to do lovely Absolutely lovely. All right, let's get the mail. 
and then go ahead and have him go through and, and harvest everything and sell things and all that wonderful stuff. And once he's finished his gardening, we'll have him read the Ambrosia newsletter. Ah, oh, sweet, our apple trees have grown. That's good. I'm really hoping that these, uh, these cherry trees finish growing soon as well. We'll use these strawberries to fertilize the spliced plant here, as well as the apple trees and the cherry trees. Let's see. So we, now we have a quest, the first ingredient, fish with bait. Reach level three or higher in the fishing skill and select fish with bait. Okay. And then we need to travel to Caster's Alley to find an angel fish. All right. Luckily, my character is, is a magic user, which means he's got a glimmer stone. So going to Caster Alley is super easy for me. So let's go ahead, go over here and do some fishing. Fish with bait. And we'll, we've got a strawberry, so we'll, we'll fish with the strawberry. I got a special gift for you because you're such a good neighbor. Ooh. Ooh, gimme. Give gimme give gift. Hi, Liam. Yeah, I'll take that gift. You, you want to give me a present? I, I'm not going to say no to a present. And it'll get my, my Sim's social need up. And we might be able to go fishing with Liam as well, which will bring his social need up even more. You know, that's, that's going to be good. Hopefully he doesn't go away. <laughs> Wow, Liam went right in to look at the gramophone. People really like that gramophone. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Oh, there's the present. Hey, <laughs> What do we get? He gave us a postcard. Sunset Valley postcard. Oh, that's really nice. There we go. We'll pay hang it up there on the wall. Now let's see if he wants to go fishing with us, because like I said, we still need to go fishing. Fish with bait, strawberry. Don't know if he's going to follow because you can't fish with bait with another sim, but it'll be fine. Ooh, he, he landed a bit hard there. He really needs to work on his, his flying skills. Okay, so we need to catch an angel fish in the Crawdad Quarter in Willow Creek and travel to Caster's Alley. We don't have much of anything you know, for bait. We got a catfish, so that's good. I probably should have multiplied that strawberry, but it's okay. I don't, I don't have any strawberries in the refrigerator by any chance, do I? No. No, I do not. Okay, it's fine. And I don't think I have any catfish in here, so let's go ahead and put our, our catfish in our aquarium. And we'll have him travel to Willow Creek. Crawdad Quarter, here we go, which is over here. So let's go to the Turkish baths that I recently built in The Sims. Really nice uh, place, the Turkish baths, by the way. Not part of this playthrough, but it's still pretty cool. I can find a fishing spot. That's pretty far. Is there any closer fishing spots? Ah, uh, yes, here we go. Okay. I could do the death lily, or not the death lily, just the lily, and see what we get. That doesn't work. I can always go around and grab some plants and use those. So we got a tetra. It's a tuna, and we've run out of bait. We could use the, the fish <laughs> as bait, but I don't really want to use a fish worth 47 simoleons as bait. I'm wondering if we travel to Caster's Alley and get an angelfish from there, if that will count as catching an angelfish. We'll go ahead and let him catch one more fish, and then we'll travel to Caster's Alley and, and see if, if they have an angelfish and if it makes both pop. Ugh, seaweed. Okay, travel to the Magic Realm. Alright, let's go to Caster's Alley. I love how you can see it in the background there. That is so cool. Let's see. Tomes and Familiars, let's go ahead and um, we'll check that out. There's brooms and crystals. I don't think we'll find uh, any fish there, but we can have a look around. And potion ingredients. And those are the only three stalls here in Caster's Alley. Nope, nothing there. Next place. Nope, nothing there. And the third place. Kissing Gurami. Koi. Nope, they don't have an angel fish either. I do want to get these two, though, just to put in, in the fish tank. <laughs> Check back tomorrow as our daily offerings are always changing. Nice. I think this angel fish might be a bit difficult to get, but we'll get there. All right, put the tuna in. 
There it is. Then the Tetra. Oh no. Oh yeah, we put it's in there. Okay, good. The Koi. Oh no, we're, we're, we're out of space in our fish tank. Okay, let's see. I'll take out the ones that are worth the least. We'll take out anything that's less than, than excellent. So there we go. We'll keep those three. We'll put the Koi in. There he is. And the Kissing Gurami. There we go. Take care of his needs real quick. And then we'll go back to Willow Creek, Raw Dead Quarter, and do a little bit more fishing. See if using some of the fish as bait that we've got in our inventory will, will work towards helping us get that angelfish a little bit faster. And we can also go over to Caster's Alley in the morning as well and see if they have an angelfish there. So let's go fishing. At least it's a nice day now and it's no longer raining. That is good. Fish with bait. Let's fish with the discus. Like I said, maybe that'll give us a little bit of a better chance of getting this, this angelfish. I have no idea how to, how to get an angelfish other than fishing with bait. Based on what the game is, you know, the hints that the game's given me. I don't tend to fish with bait very often in this game. Usually when my sim fishes, it's literally like at the beginning of a playthrough so that he can get some, they can get some food or some money. That is not an angelfish. That's a chicklid. Okay, so then we'll we'll fish with a goldfish. I'm gonna go ahead and sell the chicklid since we're out of space in the aquarium. And then once he's used up this bait, we'll use the guppy. And I'm hoping by then he'll be able to use the glimmer stone. Fishing level four and a minnow. Let's use the guppy. Still can't use the glimmer stone yet. A red-tailed black shark. Okay. Ooh, that's a rare one. I think we'll keep that one. Let's use the minnow as bait. A guppy, really? All right, we got a bass fish. Gonna keep going using the fish that we catch as bait. Ah, uh, there's the paddle boat. Right, he caught a minnow and a bluebell, <laughs> as you do. Oh, he's he's too warm. Uh, uh, wait, nope, he's fine now. Fish with bait, minnow. Very uncomfortable. Lethal. Oh shoot. Um, nope, nope, nope. Let's, let's get inside. Quick, 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 quick. Swim. Wow. Don't want my sim to die. <laughs> Not before we finish this quest. <laughs> go swimming. That'll cool him down at least a little bit. There we go. Oh, jeez. All right. Can he use his glimmer stone yet? No. All right. Then I think we're going to have to travel to Glimmerbrook. And then from there, use the portal to the magic realm. And the portal it even shows up on the map for you. It's over here. So we're going to go to Glimmerbrook Watch. Travel there. It's a residential lot that's put down, but there's no one living there. So cool little lot that I've built. But anyway, we don't want to go there. We want to head over here and travel to the Magic Realm. Dude, why are you going that way? Oh, okay. That explains it. I'm really hoping that the Caster's Alley shop has the angelfish today. Because if not, we might be here a while from, uh, before I can get this fish. I love how all of the vendors are astral projections. Oh, angelfish. Yes, there we go. That was lucky. Amazing, you've lured in the elusive angelfish. Two more ingredients to go. And we've completed all all of the quests for this week so we've got the freezer bony sugar skull a colorful freezer bony calavera commemorating the day of the dead this freezer bony is often placed upon the ofrendas of departed sins then we've got the bird of paradise plant this rare flower and watch it bloom Grimm's Cruiser Bicycle. Travel the mortal realm in style with this faithful replica of the Grim Reaper's Cruiser Bike. I love how it has a basket of flowers in the back and a cow plant skull on the front. And we've also got the Batfish. The Batfish doesn't sleep upside down, but it does have nice leathery wings to make up for it. I'm not going to do anything with the Batfish. Or the Bird of Paradise. I will put the Sugar Skull Freezer Bony into the house as decoration. Where's that Freezer Bony? Here he is. Well, let's put it down right there next to the other one. And we've got three Freezer Bonies so far. 
They're definitely cute. I hope you enjoyed this week's playthrough. I'm looking forward to seeing what week four has in store for us. But until then, I'll see you later. Bye.